Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxon, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! So he's been called the Kingslayer, right? The architect, the messiah. How about we give him a new nickname, Mr. Delusional? <laughs> oh, bite your, bite your tongue, Cole. There is nothing delusional about this man. Seth Rollins has earned everything. It just happens that everyone else is jealous. Multiple Universal and WWE title reigns. He's won the Royal Rumble and money in the bank. You know, there was a time when Seth Rollins used to feed off the energy of the WWE Universe. Now he's just happy celebrating all of his accomplishments alone. Get ready for a showcase of reasons why everyone should follow the way. Austin Theory is an incredible physical talent, but not always so bright. And his opponent, representing the way from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. A highly sought-after talent has been brought under the wing of competitors like Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano. Such a rising young athlete here in Austin Theory, one of the most naturally gifted stars in WWE today. He is big, he is strong, and he is vicious. So long as that inexperience yeah. doesn't trip him up, the sky is the limit for Austin Theory. Yeah, Theory is what you call a 5 2 a player. He may be inexperienced, but he's as hungry as it gets. We'll see if that's yeah. enough to get him the victory. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Seth Rollins, who comes to the ring ready to extract his own personal brand of justice. Well, Rollins has this sick agenda for balancing the scales in WWE. He believes things should be paid back, an eye for an eye, a hand for a hand. I don't know what transgression sets Rollins off, but he's beyond the point of return. Pick perfect drop kick. simple you have to meet Seth on his terms if he's willing to do anything to win you need to be willing to do the same otherwise you're just handing him the advantage at the very least you need to give 110 percent in this match and go absolutely all out to compensate for Seth's willingness to play dirty From the middle rope, Fury is out of the way. Oh, he grew tired of his slug attitude. Apparently, this match needed a mud hole. Oh my goodness, just strike it at will. What a leg drop across the rope. Oh, what's Rods have planned here? Boom! Small package driver. From the second row, Phoenix Flash! Shots, how'd he do that? So much damage inflicted. A frenzy. This Hold on a second. 
I was worried about this happening. And this superstar's waiting for him. Where's he at? Uh oh, there he is! Expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. He's been placed in the corner now. Quick thinking from Theory. Ooh, nails the midsection. Powerless position to be in right now. And uncanny showing the power. This one is a serious accomplishment. A very impressive victory for Seth Rollins. The King Slayer.